Howdy folks, welcome back to World of Warships with Raz Grease Gaming. And today, actually, this is a little, well, I think necessary. So, here's my impressions real quick for, uh, I'm going to have to see, the new cruisers. That we've been talking about them before, but now in a test server, we got our hands on them. Here is Baltimore at Tier 9, and later on I'll show you guys Cleveland. So, Baltimore, this is with... All my modules on it. Um, be testing it with my friend Wandering Bread, a very good warship player. If you ever bump into him, uh, good riddance, because you're probably going to get deleted by him. He's way better than even me. Um, <laughs> um, but here in this ship, it's pretty feels quite comfortable. I was surprised. Um, I put hydroacoustic and radar on it for tier nine, and did you notice also they put something else in the test server. Now a badge for spotting, and I'm freaking happy about that one too because now people are going to get rewarded for spotting and targeting and pinpointing a little more if only wargaming can do a little more with the earning credits for spotting damage and assisting because even if you're just spotting the target i think that should be a reward anyway <sighs> baltimore um feels but sorry not baltimore buffalo sorry uh freaking why I say that? Well, because it, it feels like it. The nice thing about this ship is it very much feels like the previous tiers. It doesn't feel different than the other ones. You know, she's got quite quite the pretty good guns. She's still got the same guns as New Orleans and, and Baltimore. But what's nice about this is you haven't added gun in the back. Because this ship, at the time, basically they were just making a better cruiser than the previous ones making an increasement on the heavy gun line so they put four turrets on this thing at the two or threes um strapped a, shit, a metric ton of anti-air on it still put the plane on her as you can see the catapults are now on the side between the smokestacks not like baltimore uh, des moines where it's in the back um at the time it's still in the um middle and they just filled it with anti-air defense the, the anti-air in this thing is insane i haven't had a chance to really fully test it here in the test server because there's not many people testing it but you'll get the point of how powerful it is when you actually can pop shells like the reload time yes you're going to suffer it is not the greatest reload time you're still gonna have to sit there wait for the shells to go and stuff like that like you'll still get shots like that <laughs> but it feels quite comfortable um rudders feels very good and for those who are initially going to go okay i got it what, what, what are you going to get well i'm going to have a few pointers for you guys out the back you could put either reload or range on this thing just like the wine and i'm going to tell you right now do not go for the reload go for the range it's a lot smarter choice now before anybody jumps to conclusions go why because you're going to get spotted further yeah but you're further range can be harder to hit a target from farther away than closer so that's going for you number two doing reload only increases it by just a mere i think by my calculations was a half a second compared to the range build would increase your range to three to four kilometers i take the range over any time the reload's already pretty solid in this thing you can easily if you uh hold back you assist the team the right way and you play correctly you will easily get over at least a hundred and a half maybe 200 if you're lucky rounds hit you're going to fling shells out of this thing like a machine gun so you have no excuse whatsoever to run the reload if the reload's a poor choice you also get the ability to use you know a, a plane but Really, I wouldn't recommend that. You want to be an assistant to the team, spotting destroyers, assisting with tor torpedoes. You're going to want hydroacoustic. You're going to want to have radar. You have a heal because it's tier 9, and you also get that repair. Nothing special there, but she does feel quite overall a nice rainbow bow, quite the solid ship. I can't complain about her. Her guns are good, her reload's good. Her accuracy, as you can see here, pretty damn spot on. It's not the greatest, but for tier 9, she does the job. 
I think that's pretty good. Now on top of that too, so I gotta point out real quick, they're also doing the commanders for Admiral Halsey, and these are some of those containers you guys are gonna get. I'm just popping through them really fast, but you're going to get some nice stacks of containers. They have these American silhouettes, and you get these badges, or you're gonna have, you know, medals, photos and ships, the gun history of some cruisers, all kinds of stuff from the American cruiser and their history during World War II. Actually, it does from the early 1900s all the way through World War II, including, uh, you know, Seattle, uh, Chester's there, Omaha's there, all the ships are there, even including in Cleveland. So you get to see a fair share of American history on these. Now, even though I'm popping these out real quick, and you can see there's also a Stars and Stripes camo you're getting, you also get to play around and take a look at actually some really other cool stuff. If you go look in here, you can see, here's your Admiral Halsey collection, and you get a whole bunch of photos you can get. There's the Chester you get. That only gives you a little bit of history of these ships, you know, you can also get the other ones. Um, there's also different flag uh, medals from all the American history of them getting commendations. My grandfather's medal on the Purple Heart since he did serve World War II. And on top of that, um, many others, including, uh, you know, um, naval badges for the gunners, the mechanics. Everyone is in ties with the American history of their pleb and honor and service that they've worked so hard of blood, sweat, and tears during the wars. And working very hard to protect our seas and our nation. Fortunately, it didn't lock any of the guns, but also they have Admiral Halsey you'll be able to unlock as well. That's a whole new campaign that they're currently in the works. Test server kind of funny because it had a few little bugs, but overall, you can go get it. You could have tested it. I didn't get a chance to test that chip out yet, that commander, but it looked pretty cool. So, now let's get on to the other ship. How's Cleveland at Tier 8? Well... Cleveland at Tier 8 is quite the interesting go-getter of a ship. She's still the same Cleveland you all know and love. Just a little buffer health, still the spam-firing guns, an upgraded anti-air defense, and here's the kicker. Here's your modules, or, or uh, I think, yeah, modules. Defensive fire, hydroacoustic, radar, repair party. No heal, just the just the damage control. Yeah, that's not broken. <laughs> oh, that the uh, war gaming don't don't ever change any day. So you're gonna have a tier eight light cruiser with the ability to spam over islands if you use it right. Um, reload six point five with the guns, and spam armor piercing and high explosive into high damaging targets. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's perfectly fine, War Gaming. <laughs> oh, War Gaming, oh, you're just making me roll every time and laughing, cheer. Uh, but there is a couple things I got a grape so far with me testing these. Oh, what were they, Raz? I can't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it was... I mean, you're going... I'll say this, okay. I'll be fair with this. Cleveland, if you're, if you're a complete idiot... And you're going to get penciled with damage. Bear with it. You can't take a heal it back. So if you make a mistake, you get hurt, you take damage, you take anything, you can't return that health back. It's going to the bottom of the sea, never to be seen again. Unless some magical unicorn that they can bring the health back. It's not going to happen. But I'll say this. Six-inch guns at this ship... Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs> well, that's it, guys. I hope you guys like the impressions of these videos. If you like these uh, new ships, let me know. If you like, let me know if you guys want any other content. Other than that, take care. See you again.